we go straight to the big story, the Lillard-Paul Allen meeting. Okay, the biggest story the past week, the report from ESPN's Chris Haynes, that Damian Lillard had a meeting with team owner Paul Allen before the Pacers game a week ago, in which he reaffirmed his commitment to Portland and sought assurances that the franchise's aim is to build title-contending roster around him. Lillard, general manager Neil Olshay, and head coach Terry Stotts downplayed the report saying that the meeting did happen, but it was blown out of proportion. So the question is, do you think Blazers fans should be encouraged or discouraged that this meeting took place? And do you think the front office will approach the trade deadline differently because of said meeting? For Blazers fans, the encouraged, discouraged. I'd be totally encouraged yeah. by this meeting mm -hmm. for two reasons. One, Paul Allen you know, is seeking out the best player on the roster and telling him, look, I value your input. Mm -hmm. I want you to be around Did here. Paul Allen seek him out or Paul, did Damian Lillard seek him? Nevertheless, he still had the meeting. He, he, yeah, he, had he the still meeting. had the meeting. He mm -hmm. could have you know, blown it off. Right. He yeah. didn't have to have the meeting. Right. So we, you're right. We don't know who sought out who. Yeah. But the, in terms of a healthy relationship between a star player and team owner, this is a big step in that direction when you're able to have talks like this about the team's future. How honest they were, we have no idea. Right. We don't know how long this conversation took. We don't know what mm -hmm. was talked about. But in terms I think of, the report said it was an hour long. In terms of how in terms of Paul Allen though and Damian Lillard talking back and forth with each other, that shows healthy relationship. And the other thing is that Sorry, drop my papers. Uh, is Lillard's reaffirmment to the Blazers? You know mm -hmm. he's going to stick around here yeah. and be with Portland. If you're a Blazers fan, that's got to be exciting because you know just like a week or two ago, we saw an article and he said he wanted to be the greatest Blazer ever. Mm -hmm. But as Jared has pointed out, Lamarcus Aldridge said the same thing a year before <laughs> leaving. So the fact that again he told supposedly told Paul Allen, yes, I want to be here. Let's get this done. You know that makes me feel good. If I'm a Blazers fan, you got to feel like Dame. He's loyal here. Mm -hmm. right. He wants to stay in Portland, and he really wants to win a title here. Yeah. And so I, I think this meeting is, I'd feel totally great about it if I was a Blazers fan. I think it's a good thing, too. I think that, I think that Lillard reached out. I think that's why Paul Allen was scared that he was going to ask for a trade, because that's what the report said, is that Paul Allen was afraid that the meeting was, it was Lillard coming in to ask to be traded, and he was relieved when that didn't happen. So I think Blazers fans should also be relieved that he reaffirmed his commitment to Portland and that he wants to play for a winning team. That shouldn't be a surprise. No. But I think that I wonder if you look back at the moves that the Blazers have made going back a year, and just, I wonder if, if, if Lillard had some concerns about where this team's, where the front office's priorities were. Because they made the trade for Yusuf Nurkic, even though it turned out great, it was ultimately because they didn't want to pay Mason Plumlee in the offseason. They made the trade where they traded Alan Crabb to get off of the, the money. You know? And there's been reports that they're you know, going to make a trade you know, at the deadline probably to get under the luxury tax line. Mm -hmm. So even though the Blazers have tried to make other moves, win now moves, you know, going after Paul George, going after Carmelo Anthony, you know, inquiring about DeAndre Jordan or, or whatever, I think that the moves that they've actually made have all looked like they've been based in finances. And so I wonder if Lillard was just looking for confirmation that they're as serious about winning as he is. And by all accounts, it sounds like he got the answer he wanted. So, Do you guys think that Lillard looked at the previous moves or you know the construction of the roster and started to think, you know what, I didn't say anything. I need to step up. I need to make sure that my voice is heard. And maybe it becomes more of a, I don't want to regret whatever happens this season or you know at the end of the year potentially i mean i think he wants to have control of his future mm -hmm. and this is a way for him to kind of try to take control of what's going to happen in the next three years mm -hmm. here in portland i mean these are his prime right. years now yeah, exactly. it's now it's right now these next couple of years coming up and so he wants to win right now mm -hmm. he's not he doesn't care about you know as much as he probably loves Zach Collins, he doesn't care about the players Zach Collins is going to be in three years right. he cares about the players Zach Collins is right, right now, now. Right. Yeah. and so Jared's right. He probably was looking for some affirmation that, hey, are we really in this? Because Jared's right. They have made some moves that, you know, Neil Olshay's always talked about building in the future, mm -hmm. and the moves they've made recently haven't exactly shown a team who's looking to, who shows a lot of urgency to win right now. But in terms of some of the players involved, like Mason Plumley, Mason Plumley's not going to win you an NBA title. No. Mm -hmm. And sa same with Alan Crabb, and they were stuck under a terrible contract with that. And so while you can say these moves, you know, aren't, when now moves, they're also not moves that you should look at and be like, whoa, what, what are we doing mm -hmm. right now? 
And so I think this is just a way for Dame to kind of just be try to get on the same page with management and kind of try to take control of his future here. I know that, uh, you know, Coach Stotts had, had said that, you know, downplayed it and said this wasn't a big deal or whatever. Uh, had mentioned, you know, Dirk had, had done it multiple times in – uh, in Dallas, and this is what star players do. But for me, my eyebrows raised because I didn't know that this was kind of a, a new thing. This was a kind of a first-time deal that Lillard had talked to Paul Allen on this type of level. It is a first-time thing with Lillard, but when Brandon Roy was here, mm -hmm. he had meetings with Paul Allen. LaMarcus Aldridge did as well. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good sign that Lillard is doing this, mm -hmm. even if it's for the first time. You've seen him over the past year – assert himself more in mm -hmm. things like this. He, he pursued Carmelo Anthony and Paul George, whether it was over social media or reaching out to them directly during the offseason, and now he's meeting with the owner mm -hmm. just to make sure that they know, I want winning pieces around me. I want to put together, you know, I'm not getting any younger, so mm -hmm. let's go for, you know, contention right now. So at a, at a bare minimum, you're getting Damian Lillard, who clearly wants to own this, who is invested and has opened up this line of communication to the owner. And on the other side, you have an owner who's willing to listen to Damian Lillard. It's big time. Yeah, and they both seem to have presented urgency in mm -hmm. that meeting to wanting to mm -hmm. win now. And yeah. so if you're a Blazers fan who's tired of this group of guys you've seen over the last three years make basically first. I know they won the playoff series two years in a row. That was mm -hmm. mostly because of injury. They're basically a first round exit playoff team right mm -hmm. now. For yeah. fans that are tired of that, mm -hmm. that's a good sign that maybe some change is coming. Right, and they're filling that just like Blazers fans are, yeah. which yeah. is interesting that, hey, we're all kind of in the same boat, so yeah. to speak. 